every stream, without fail, we try something new. And if you didn't see it, it's absolutely because you weren't here. And not at all. Because I didn't have time to go to the grocery store and find something to try. Now, today's try is, is five things. And it is... Uh, it's Prime, which I know. I know. It's the Logan Paul drink. But I was at the store. The Logan Paul and KSI drink. I was at the store and I saw one and we were like, should we do this? Should we try these out? People say that they're good. And then I saw that they had all five flavors sitting right there. And I was like, oh, well, we have to like we uh, all they have every single flavor sitting right here. So we have to try it. Exactly. Exactly. Just subscribe with your prime. I'll drink the prime. It'll be prime time. Everybody's happy. I'm happy. You're happy. Uh, who, th this drink is happy. I don't know. I don't know. That's how it works, I guess. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through it. We're gonna look at uh, this one is strawberry watermelon, and then we've got uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, blue raspberry. Now you can see it's getting eaten by the green screen a little bit. So you know, you know already that lemon lime doesn't look like this in real life. I promise you, it looks, it's green. We have uh, an orange mango, which I am kind of excited for. Uh, and then lastly, tropical punch. I like a good fruit punch. So we're gonna start though. We're gonna start with lemon lime because the green screen's eating it alive. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at how perfect the, the symbols are, though. Look at those perfectly keyed symbols. All right, so this is our lemon lime guy. Uh, for those of you who are sugar curious like I am, this does not contain, I don't think any of these contain stevia. It, I haven't from any of the ones I've looked at, but they do use sucralose. So for me, uh, I can taste sucralose. I can really taste stevia. Stevia drinks are usually like immediately, uh, just like out of the question. I will not, I don't want a stevia drink, they're gross. But sucralose only has a slight flavor that I can taste. So it's like, um, like flavor plus a little bit of you. So we're gonna pop this open. We're gonna see, oh, it contains coconut and uh, is 200 milligrams of caffeine in a can. Ooh, it's a good pop though. That's a good, that's a good break. Let's see how she smells. Ooh, ooh. This smells like an otter pop. It smells good. <laughs> oh man, those like, like those like super cheap like just like icy popsicles. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells super good. It smells like summertime in your childhood. Oh, if it tastes like it smells, it's gonna be good. Let's find out. Let's find out. Do do it. Do it taste like smell? Oh. Okay. It's not bad. It does have that like melted otter pop taste. And if you don't taste sucralose, I think you would like this if you're into like a lemon lime otter pop. It's like somebody melted down like 60 of them and put them in a can. It's 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 not bad. I'm surprised. The sucralose flavor is there, but I know that that I'm particularly sensitive to it. Yeah, like, like, you know those, uh, like the green otter pop? That's what this smells like, and it's got that kind of a taste to it. It smells good. I, I like it. And as a drink, I don't think I would buy this. Like, I don't think that I would, would, would want one of these again. But, given this now, I, like, I think that it is, I would finish this one, just not purchase another one. Set you over to the side over here. Where soon your friends will join you. All right, so that one was surprisingly good, which means now we're gonna move on to one that I think I won't like. Uh, this is blue raspberry. 
is a flavor that traditionally I'm not a fan of. I don't like raspberry and I don't like the fake thing that is blue raspberry. Let's check it again to see if maybe the sugars are changing in any of these. No. Nope, still uh, sucralose. And they're all coconut water based. <clears throat> all right. Well, if you like blue raspberry, you might be into this. Oh, whoa. That smells like blue raspberry. This smells like, um, you ever have like those blue raspberry shaved ices? Like sometimes the uh, the ice cream truck will have them, or sometimes you'll go to like a like a state fair or something like that, and they have like a shaved ice thing, and they just kind of like slop the syrup on there. That's what this smells like, but it's got a little bit of hmm. It's got a little bit of a sour smell to it, so it's like I, I'm I'm worried that this is gonna be sour because <laughs> I just desperately don't want to taste something sour because I know it'll it'll really make me pucker up, but it smells good. It doesn't have a weird, a chalky smell to it. It's, it smells like the kind of thing you would get at a fair. In a good way, in a, in a positive way. Ooh, I don't like it, but it tastes exactly like blue raspberry. So if you like blue raspberry, you're gonna like this. Actually, you know what's odd? Is that, uh, I think, actually, oh, whoa, whoa. Eh, 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 I don't like it. I don't like it, but the blue raspberry and the, like, the little hit of sour that it has in there is covering up the sucralose taste. So actually, I don't like this one as much as I like the lime, but I might, I, I think that this one tastes better, which is, is weird. I don't like the flavor, but if you liked both of these, I would imagine that you would like the blue raspberry more because it 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 has like a, a like the flavor profile is deeper and it doesn't have the sucralose flavor in it. It is overpowered by blue raspberry and that little hit of sour. I'm actually uh, excited for my wife to try this one. Um, let's move on to strawberry watermelon which I think is a flavor that is very easy to get wrong. Anything with watermelon, I think uh, a lot of times what places end up doing with it is they make a drink that tastes like watermelon rind, which is not particularly good uh, of a flavor. No, people don't eat the rind for a reason. Uh, and then strawberry also sometimes comes off too fakey. But uh, so far they're two for two on flavor. I think they're doing a pretty good job. The last time we had like a genuinely good swath of drinks was juvie and every juvie was good all right bada boom good crack on all of these so far <sighs> okay it definitely smells like strawberry syrup <sighs> i don't know if i can smell watermelon yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can smell watermelon in it, but it smells pleasant. Like, it smells like if you smelled this drink, you would be like, oh, okay, cool. All right, let's see if, let's see if they got the rind flavor in there. Ooh. What is that? What is that? What is that taste? I know that taste. I've tasted this taste before. My taste memory is remembering the taste that I'm tasting. What is it? Ah, oh, is it? Oh, uh oh. Okay, okay. This is this is a wild. This is a like a a, a deep hit here. Do you remember when you'd go to your grandma's house, or maybe like? Your, your like great uncle and they'd always have the candy dish on the table and the candy dish would always have those terrible strawberry candies in there that like you'd eat them because you were a kid and you wanted a little candy but it's just like this weird wrapped strawberry foiled candy that is like 
the only thing in the world that tastes like what that candy tastes like, that's kind of what this tastes like. It's weird. It, it, it is not a bad flavor. It's just like this oddly memorable taste that that is exactly that candy. Yeah, like I don't actually taste much watermelon in this at all. It tastes like, like, yeah, like the strawberry granny candies. It, it tastes like that. Like they melted them down, they put them in here. It, it has to me almost no watermelon flavor. It is almost all that strawberry taste. And I, it, it's not bad. Like it's not bad. So far they're three for three. They're not bad. Yeah. I don't know how I'd feel about finishing the whole thing, but a couple sips, it's enjoyable. You do get the sucralose flavor in there a little bit, but if, I think if you can't taste sucralose, sucralose, I think that you would like these. I think people would enjoy them. I think people do enjoy them. I think people are enjoying them right now. I bet. I'm willing to bet that people are enjoying them at this moment. All right, let's move on to uh, Orange Mango. Let's see how Orange Mango treats us. <sighs> Whoa, that's a mango smell. That's a strong mango smell. Let me pre uh, preempt this saying I'm not a mango guy. <laughs> But this smells, I mean, that smells like mango. It smells like citrusy, fruity, and then just mango. Oh geez, they're making me burp. All right. All right, let's give it a taste. Why did I swallow it like that? Why did I swallow it weird? Why did I do that? I've smelled a bunch of other times today. Why did I do it like that this time? <laughs> okay. All right, let's give it a... <laughs> let's do this for real this time. Let's actually put the liquid down into my throat and not into my lungs. <sighs> okay. All right, I've got it. Do you remember years ago? I don't know if they still make it. Do you remember Trident Layers Gum? And Trident Layers Gum had a mango flavored gum. This tastes like that gum. If you liked Trident Layers Mango Gum, if you're one of the eight people in the world that know what that tastes like, this tastes like that. It's a mango flavor that I like. It's like, what, okay. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get into this at the end. We're gonna get into this at the end. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna, we're gonna talk about this in a minute. Uh, the mango, it's good. It's good. We're gonna go jump the tropical crunch, front front crunch, tropical punch. It's a, it's a punch of tropicalness. There's a cat hair on the top. How did I get there? Ah. That smells like every single fruit punch you've ever smelled. It's, it smells like every fruit punch. It smells like the idea of fruit punch. If you went and stuck your schnoz up to the, like the fruit punch high C nozzle at your local uh, whatever place has it, you went up to the subway and just stuck your nose up into the, the Coke machine and sniffed on the high C fruit punch, that's what this smells like. You know what? This is the worst one. I thought Fruit Punch would be the safest bet here. This is the worst one. It, um, it smells more than it tastes. It has flavor, but... But it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't hit. It doesn't have like the, the, the intensity that the scent has. The rest of these are very like, 
you know exactly what you're getting, you taste it. I would, I'm willing to bet that the rest of these, you could identify the flavor without knowing the name. But the fruit punch is like, I don't know that you would just be like, oh, it's tropical punch. Jeez, I'm so carbonated right now. So as, as the one that I thought was to be the safest bet is actually the one I would say, don't, don't get the tropical punch unless you really like tropical punch. And yeah, uh, penguins, it, it's like, it's watered down. It's like they, they like took a step back on what the flavor could be. And then they ended up with this, which is not bad. It's just the least flavorful option out of all of these. Like the mango is like flavor. It's here. It's now the blue raspberry flavor, the lemon lime, not as intense, but it's still like a unique it's lemon lime. You know what you're getting. The, the, the strawberry one has like this, like strawberry flavor, strawberry watermelon. No, we're watermelon, but like the strawberry flavor is there. And then you get to fruit punch, which tropical punch, which should be like a home run and it tastes fine. It just doesn't taste enough. It needs more. It, I want this drink and just like control B, put it in bold. And then that's what I want. Yeah, it's, yeah, it, it just like, it just needs more. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna say, which one, okay, so I think Tropical Punch is is my five. I'm gonna say that my sh that blue raspberry is my four. I'm 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 organizing them where you can't see, but you have to trust me. All right, theater of the mind. I'm they're over here and they're getting organized. Um. <sighs> Yeah, I think strawberry is my three. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh geez, okay. Which one of these is number one? It's a little sour. Oh, dang it. I didn't, I didn't, okay, even I didn't expect this. Well, that's because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> All right, here's the, here it is. We got number five, Fruit Punch. Out of the five of these, this is the worst one, which is not to say that it's bad. It is just the one that I would be least likely to get. I think it has the, the least amount of flavor. There are much more flavorful options in here that I think would be more enjoyable to drink. So we got number five here. Number four, we've got blue raspberry. It is number four because blue raspberry is not my thing, but dang, does this thing have a lot of flavor in it. This tastes. If you like blue raspberry, you will like this. It's got that little bit of tart in it. If you like sour drinks, this is just borderline on the sour. It's right there. I think people would like that. It covers up the sucralose flavor. Then we have at three, strawberry watermelon. Tastes like those weird strawberry grandma candies. It's not bad. Very little watermelon flavor, but I prefer this to blue raspberry because I'm just not a blue raspberry guy. Four, three, two, two. Lemon lime. I thought this would be number one. I thought lemon lime would be number one, but the flavor of this orange mango there is so much taste here. And it tastes like that Trident Layers gum. And it's good. It covers up the sucralose taste. It has like this mangoey, citrusy flavor to it. It is enough different kinds of flavors to be good. It's got this little bit of a sour, like aftertaste to it. I think that this might be my favorite one. I think this is the best one. If you had to pick just one prime to figure out, do I like prime? I would grab the orange mango. And if you're not really much of a real fruity guy and you wanna try something else, grab the blue raspberry. I know it's my number four, but that's a personal preference. It's good though. I think people will enjoy it. 
So, Tripod. I think that all of these were a hit. I, I mean, none of them were bad. We've definitely had bad things here before. This is not gonna go on that list. And uh, yeah, give the orange mango a shot. Give the blue raspberry a shot. There you go, we've done it, we did it. We made it to all five. Oh man, I never have to do it again. <laughs>